in the room right now because meteorologist Danielle Miller knows that a lot of the kids want to do something at home. So parents, you and your kids can do something as you watch the newscast. Welcome to another edition of Stay Home Science. In today's experiment, we are talking all about high and low pressure. Here's what you need. You need a plate with a little bit of an edge to it. We filled this plate up with some water and put a little bit of food coloring in there. You need a tea light or a very small candle. You need a clear glass, whatever kind of glass you can use in this case, using a stemless wine glass because that's what worked the best for me in this experiment. And you need a lighter or a match. So kids, make sure you have a parent at home. Now let's take this tea light and we're going to put it in the middle of our plate and it's either going to float or sit there right in the middle. Now take your lighter and we're going to light the top of your candle and we'll get our flame going right there. So next up we're going to take our glass and we are going to cover the candle in on the plate. As this candle burns in the glass, we closed off this atmosphere or this environment in the glass. It's going to warm up all of the air in the glass. Now, once the candle goes out, you can see we just got a bunch of water rising in the glass. So once the candle went out, all this warm air went from being warm, it expanded to being cold. Now cold air shrinks, it condenses, it gets closer together. So we created an area of low pressure in the glass compared to the higher pressure out here. So what did it do? The air wanted to move from high pressure to low pressure. So we created a vacuum. All this water seeped up into the glass in order to create equal pressures in my apartment as well as in this glass. And that's a thing that we do and know and talk about in weather all the time. Air moves from high pressure to low pressure. It's one of the most basic principles we need to know about when we are forecasting for you at home. So an easy experiment to talk about air pressure that you can do right at home. Let me know if you do it. Thanks for watching.